Hi, Isabel Litz, Le Pliade HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today I wanted to talk about what are the best regions to work in Switzerland or where you have the most potential as an English speaker to find a job. So what I found with my experience working with clients is that there's definitely uh, some places where you're going to not have many opportunities, especially if you're following a partner. Uh, if you end up in the middle of nowhere in Switzerland, it's going to really be tough for you. So if you want to move to Switzerland, I would really recommend to stay close to a big city. So stay close to Geneva or Zurich or, you know, um, really big or Bern is also very active. Uh, big places where you will have enough uh, activity where you can find a job. Because if you end up in the middle of nowhere, of course, there's the commute that could be a little bit dif difficult. And uh, then you, when you're in a, in a faraway place, there's probably going to be less English speaking jobs because they tend to be more localized, so you can work only if you speak Swiss German or French. So again, move close to a big city uh, when you want to move to Switzerland. So in the German-speaking part, in the Zurich area, you have a lot of activities around banking. Uh, you have also some admin positions. Uh, it's quite also big on the startup world. But again, startup jobs are hard to get by. Usually you need experience and... Uh, you need to know people in the startup world. I mean, usually people don't uh, hire necessarily full-time permanent jobs in startup. You know, either they take interns or they work with people that they know and, and sometimes they don't get paid for a while. So it's not really startup. is not really a uh, potential for someone who needs a paid job in Switzerland as an expat. So really for you, it's more the big corporations that hire English speakers uh, or the average size, I would say, uh, organizations where... Uh, you would speak English and the local language. So uh, my recommendation is learn one of the two, either Swiss German or French, so you could position yourself in one of those two regions. And then you have access to a broader spectrum of jobs. But if you're only speaking English, it's going to be a struggle. So I just want to make that clear. Uh, if you come as a, an expat, English speaker only, any region in Switzerland is going to be difficult for you because uh, English is not going to be necessarily the language uh, to be spoken, which is not the case anywhere else in the world. I would say what's really interesting is that if you speak English, anywhere else in the world is open to you. I mean, uh, in most countries, you could have a great career with English only. Only in Switzerland, you know, I don't know the whole world, but I think Switzerland is one of those countries where English is not enough. So you need to speak French or Swiss German. If you speak any of the two plus English, then you're a bit better off. So, um, so plan on that, you know, when you, when you consider an expatriation, do you speak French or do you speak Swiss German? If the answer is no, the market will be extremely tiny for you. And again, I'm going back to uh, international organizations, but most of the time they also need additional languages. It's part of the selection process. So I've done a checklist on what is my potential to come to Switzerland. So uh, you're welcome to to get it if you want to for me to send it to you by email it's a checklist and once you complete the checklist you know what is your potential of getting a job in switzerland so i've done a scale from you know one percent to a hundred percent and if you do it correctly you know it adds up for you and you get your chance you know because i do get this question a lot what is my chance to come to switzerland so uh so i've built this spreadsheet uh where i've done it a little bit methodically where i say okay you know 10%, probably anything below, you know, 70%, I would say it's a no-go. If you have more than 70% on the criteria that I put down, then your chances get a little bit better. But at least you know what you're dealing with. Uh, there's nothing worse than coming to a country and be faced with uh, a huge problem, which is not being able to work. So if you have questions, if you want to get this list, uh, feel free to post below. Thanks.